know this is the Vix Ran, and New York City is ridden with crime. And Stanley White, played by Mickey Rourke, wants to clean it up. And he wants to especially fight the uh, new organized crime that is showing up in Chinatown, a Chinese mafia. He has, however, a problem. Many people, including the citizens of Chinatown, says that such a thing does not exist. And they don't want to talk to him and they don't want to cooperate with the police. And if that wasn't difficult enough, he also has problems getting support from his uh, superior officer and the DA. So what to do? He meets a Chinese journalist, uh, a woman called Tracy Su, and they struck up a relationship and uh, his biggest target is Joey Tai, played by John Lone, a man who is climbing the criminal ladder and, uh, and soon Stanley versus John becomes a personal war and a personal vendetta. So Stanley really tries to, you know, nail this guy, but he's protected by a lot of people and there is also a, a, a huge problem with the witnesses disappearing and changing their states and all this good stuff. And uh, the further the movie goes, the more of a personal vendetta this becomes. We have a Academy Award winning director. We have Oliver Stone penning the script. We have Mickey Rourke and we have a huge epic crime story. This should be a monumental masterpiece. No, it is not. No, it's not. And why? I'm going to tell you. Because this movie is boring. Jesus Christ, this movie is boring. Not only does do they have absolutely no real you know, focus. I, I don't know how to, how to explain this, but I hate Michael Camino, the director. When I saw his name in the uh, opening titles, I said to myself, I recognize that name from somewhere. Where have I seen that one? Then he struck me. That's the dude who made Heaven's Gate. That's the dude who made Deer Hunter. Two movies I hate. I hate them. The, the problem was the same thing with both of them. They look awful. I don't know if it is his way of you know, placing the camera or shots he should choose to make. They look fucking awful. And it's actually so awful that it, it, it looks like somebody's home video in some cases. All sequences look clunky. Mo most of the you know, um, dialogue sequences look you know, strange and, and it just has this very weird pacing, not taking in the fact that all of this should be interesting, it should be exciting, but we have 10 minutes of arguing with Mickey Rourke and his fucking wife and it goes nowhere. Sure, he has a terrible life at home, but I don't care. I want to see an epic showdown between him and the Chinese Mafia. Let's talk about another thing that is terrible in this movie. The actors. Holy shit, the actors. Now, Mickey Rourke is okay, but his mumbling and his shouting and his you know, constant unlikability, we'll get to that later, is, he is the best actor in this movie. Which, which is a bit like being the tastiest burger at McDonald's. It's not a very good thing, unless you like McDonald's. And in that case, what's wrong with you? No, m most actors are terrible in this one. I don't know if it is Camino who, you know, makes them bad, or if they did phone it in or whatever. But the worst of the bunch is Adriana, who plays uh, the um, Chinese uh, journalist lady. Holy shit, she's terrible. This is like Tommy Wiseau level of terrible. Every line she says sounds terrible. It, it, it baffles me how bad she is. It is, it's sad to see. And what's worse is that uh, I, for some reason, I don't care about Joey Tai's, you know, rise to the top of, of the criminal food chain. It is boring. Action sequences look terrible and clumsy and awful. They, all, they, they did that in Heaven's Gate and they did that in Deer Hunter. By the way, those two movies 
are so overrated and so terrible I don't know where to begin. I mean they're not sort of you know bottom of the barrel but compared to what they should have been. And the pacing is probably the worst thing of all time because it takes forever for this movie to pick up and just when you think that the movie is going to you know pick up the pace and you know be interesting it does not. Most sequences looks like they're good. Most sequences look like, you know, they're gonna be interesting. They're set up very nicely, but then they just see, see, seem to going, 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 going and not go anywhere. It is, it is sad to see. It's not, not a thing that time has, you know, done a number with it because, you know, two years later, Brian De Palma made a movie called The Untouchables which is an absolutely fantastic movie. That movie had a similar plot to this one, but uh, there was one change. That movie was fantastic. This movie is not. This movie is dreadful. Could this movie have been saved potentially? Yes, probably, but not by Camino. The script is okay, I guess. But the choices he has made and these long sequences that seem to go on and on forever, it, it made the movie feel like four hours almost. Jesus Christ, it is long and it is boring and it is uninteresting. And now we have to talk about Stanley White. Stanley White may be one of the most unlikable persons I have ever seen in a movie. He is a loud, obnoxious, cranky, rapey, yeah he's a rapist also, a, 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 a racist, um, unbearably awful person and the fact is when, when awful things happen to him I don't care. When, when you have a character sort of like Popeye in uh, the French Connection with Gene Hackman, he was one of us. He was also a sort of unlikable character, but he at least had a character that you sort of you could understand his motivation. For some reason, he doesn't work. I don't know why. It makes me sad on a fundamental level that a movie this big and this epic and this monumental stoops so low. It's a terrible shame. I don't, I don't know what to say. This is, simply put, one of the worst movies of 1985 and it's such a shame. The ending is, is the best thing about the movie. Not because you're thinking to yourself, Jesus, finally we get to end this. This is sort of, it has a good cathartic, cathartic? It has a good cathartic, you know, thing about it. But it, it is too little too late and it is also weirdly shot weirdly cut and weirdly paced so doesn't have that going for it either so thanks a lot the year of the dragon gets the rating of 10. it is absolutely atrociously bad so that was the year of the dragon and tomorrow we will arrive at the city of riga in latvia and um, maybe we'll have some have a nice review from there Thank you for stopping by and the Vic Trend is signing out.